work on this important partnership compact for educational transformation within the four Windward Islands of St. Vincent, Grenada, Dominica and St. Lucia started in November of 2023. To date, the technical working groups in each country have so far completed several key inputs into the compact with each country identifying a priority reform area which has transformational potential. Acting Chief Planning Officer Schnell Leos says the main objective of this second regional workshop held at the Belgian Hotel is for each team to agree on the detailed content of the partnership strategy. It is heartwarming to know that this transformation was again a major commitment reiterated at the Santiago 2024 Education Ministerial held in January. Systems transformation will be effectively actioned by inclusive and resilient strategies, innovative policies, and sustainable funding. The four Windward Islands have received a grant from the Global Partnership for Education, GPE, to prepare the Partnership Compact. Each country has drafted a first version of the theory of change, which presents in a logical structure the main interventions to achieve the successful implementation of the priority reform. We truly believe that this work will lay the foundation for improved planning, improved coordination, and leveraging ongoing internal and external initiatives for transformational results. Uh, having witnessed the hard work and dedication of the technical teams this past month, we truly believe that this workshop will achieve its intended objective of uh, working towards the finalization of the partnership compacts. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward has expressed his satisfaction with the progress of the initiative thus far, indicating the importance of education to each of the countries of the Windward Islands. We are all under a tremendous amount of pressure to mobilize sufficient resources to meet all the educational goals and targets that we would have set ourselves. But I am sure Everybody will agree that when we come together and we allow the conversations to be contests of ideas, that there's so much more we can derive to inform the processes that we need to move forward. Each team has finalized an analysis of four enabling factors, including data and evidence, design and monitoring of policy and plans, coordination, volume, equity, and efficiency of funding. Chief Education Officer Beverly Diodoni says the partnership augurs well for pursuing innovative ways to improve overall education service delivery in the four islands. The enabling factor analysis and partnership compact for the Eastern Caribbean member states of Dominica, Grenada, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines will support the efforts of our ministries of education to increase equitable access to early childhood education, improve the quality of teaching and learning, strengthen provisions for special education needs learners, create alternative pathways incorporating technical and vocational education and the training in the modernized curriculum. She says the enabling factors will also create alternative pathways in incorporating technical and vocational education and training in the modernized curriculum. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.